What's crackalackin' YouTube? Cosmos here, coming back at you again with some ranked jazz content. Today, we have Kabrakin, the Mind Mountain of Madness, winner by knockout, etc., etc. Hopefully, we get to hear that in a little bit. Let's ban some uh, magis. I'm gonna start with stuff that doesn't like Guan Hu. Let's think about this. That one doesn't like Guan Yu very much, or is okay against one, I guess. He's pretty, he's pretty decent, you know? I'm trying to think of things that interrupt. Thinking... You would think Nox, but that god sucks, so we're not going to do that. Um, Poseidon would be okay. Raijin would be super sick. Raijin's probably their best bet. Yeah, ban Raijin. Agni would be okay... I think they have a lot of really incoming. good mages to pick here. Eh. Poseidon. It is the Poseidon. I think we might be against the same fellas from nah. the game before. But could be wrong. They played Fafnir and Poseidon, so we'll see. We'll yeah, see. It's the best. We shall she what shall he shells by the seashore dish game. But um, the main reason I'm playing at Cabracken is because on the Hercules video I did before the Hercules video from just recently, like yesterday, I had someone comment asking to see the Cabracken side of the Hercules Cabracken combo. We don't have Hercules this game, unfortunately, but we do have the Cabracken side, which is what was requested. So, you know, your guys' comments do mean something. Make sure to keep commenting to fill my heart inside. Well, we have some Kabrakken. We're playing alongside the mighty Lord Livid and Nat Lee. Mm -hmm. Nat Lee! Recognition I deserve. Attempting to climb my way up from the Diamond 3 trenches into the Grandmaster rank. Jesus Christ, Kabrakken! That was scary! You should have heard what he just did. Mm -hmm. He was a guttural, a guttural no, screech. Alright, we're moving in. Oh. Autobots! Roll out! Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I just tried to VXD and get on my skateboard, or my hoverboard. Wow, you are amazing. But it, it turns out I don't have one of those. <laughs> I think I'm pretty far from the uh, diamond borders now. I have one on Scylla, though. No problem. I wonder if they'll go to the other side. Please, no. There's someone there, there's a Fafnir here. <laughs> Why have I seen this one before? <laughs> oh, it's just him. Never mind. It was a trap! Oh, no. They're on the way. Oh, he just, he just did the thing. He jumped in on me. Alright, I have my blink. It's ready to go. I'll let him eat that bro. No problem. Have fun! I'm Man. not gonna let them get that blue because I'm mean. Oh, they got it. <laughs> Ow! All right, Nat, continue taking all their stuff. I'll keep, I'll Please keep being Kabrakin over here. <laughs> Good job. Oh wow, you really did take all their stuff. <laughs> she wasn't kidding. She actually got all their stuff. <laughs> well, I think I'll take a a five for six, a five out of six buff trade. That sounds pretty good to me. When I went to good buff school, that's what they taught me, so. Majority oh, is good majority. Okay. Those were the, that was the exact quote. Oh, get it! Before she gets you! Oh. I think she's dead. Where are you going, man? I cannot be behind. <laughs> My Gilded Arrow! Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, there we go. There we go. You love the content so much. Thank you, Yanni. Okay. Glad you enjoy. I think I'm going to reinforce shoes here because I got straight up 70 power for 1200 gold, and uh, I'm not a guardian yet. Really. I am quite literally an assassin right now. You have a pass. From the jungle. CC chain. Oh. Die. 
the dog died. So, interesting thing to note about Kabraken is his one doesn't DR, so you want to like run at somebody with your one and use your two on them first so you can get the longest CC chain possible. To get the stun on your two, you need to stack up taking hits like that. Can you get it off a mini wave and then I run at them like this? And I do a little bit of jukies and you're not gonna give me the opportunity. But the ideal combo for me with my ult is I'm gonna run up to them with my one, I'm gonna ult them, I'm gonna hit them with my two and stun, and then I'm gonna wait for the two stun to about to run out, and then I'm gonna hit them with the one and then start three. And Hello. then we're gonna win. Oh, they're level four. Oh, they're level four. This is our time to shine. I'm gonna do a fake back since I'm on the ward, and then I'm gonna go for a blink play here. Don't have my two charge, but I do now. Bang! Nice. And this is a perfect engage because they don't have ults yet, and we all have ults. Easy bait and switch. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, no. He's alive! Oh, he's dead. Yeah, and then once again, they don't have ults. Like, a lot of those points in that fight, a Kraken drops, a Scotty Dog drops, we all die! Oh, that's what the Regis is. Oh, nice. But going back to the 5 out of 6 buff thing, they are not level 5. They just hit level 5. Meaning that they had no contest potential there. Fafnir put a ward on me, and I actually used that ward against him by starting my back. So, like, oh, the Kabraken's backing. We can step up to the wave. Ride or die. And then I said, you thought. <laughs> but now we have to be slightly more careful with the engages. I do have my tank boots, so I'm going to be very uh, tanky. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what tank boots do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I should be able to survive uh, maybe a Kraken, but if I'm getting hit by a Kraken and a Fafnir combo, I'm probably dead. Investing 1,200 gold into... Uh, Complete damage will make me a little bit uh, squishier early, of course. But if I can get a good engage, then I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Going for jungle buff. Bye, babe. You can just go straight to the speed net. Mm, I'm gonna start here. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I'm done here. Oh, I, I'm a red buff. I got it! I have eight ticks of my... Oh, no ten way. ticks of my three, ready to go. Ready to pop off. It actually does a lot of damage to ticks in my trade. It's kind of sick. Watch this, watch this. Watch me destroy this, this speed buff. Really? Okay. And I won't even help you. Ah! <laughs> wow, it's all your damage. There's nobody in sight. Good job. Well, what can I say? I'm just the best. <laughs> Kabraken is kind of nice with it. I've experimented with leveling it early on. So it does do a significant amount of damage. Kabraken's 3 actually has 700% uh, scaling on it if you hit them with all the things. Which is very unlikely because this thing channels for 10 seconds with 35% scaling a tick. It ticks every uh, half second. Adds up to 700% scaling overall. So I have 156 power. If somebody gets caught in my 3 for 10 seconds, they might as. That's, that's basically their entire health bar. Unless it's Fafnir. So, it's pretty work. good. I think I'm going to rush in Oni Hunters because. The big thing I'm worried about right now is getting bursted by the Magicals, meaning a uh, Fafnir combo and Poseidon combo. So, Oni Hunters is very cheap, gives me magic prot, and gives me damage mitigation, which will stack my passive that reduces my dam or damage I'm taking by 5%. So, Oni Hunters will make me a very tanky little freak, in addition to the tank boots. So, I can do a lot of things, dive a lot of towers. Hopefully, my friend is tanking with his Emperor's armor, then I can uh, survive forever, basically. There might be a ward here. Also, I've come from this side before, so they might expect this, but maybe not. I do have the blink for the surprise factor. Looking for this guy again! I freed him, but then I killed him. Dang, that's cool. 
Ground pound, ground pound, ground pound. And I'm just gonna stand here and keep pounding. Jerk. Jerk. <laughs> See, only five ticks of this actually. I can hit them 20 times with that. Oh! 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 <laughs> I need <Yeah>. the jump. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Callaholic, thank you for the prime. Not even fair. This Poseidon keeps exposing himself, and I say, there's some pearl cheeks you got there, sir. <laughs> Let me help you with that. <laughs> Still mad? No, I'm sorry. It wasn't me, I swear. I swear. This is actually just a simulation. I need to get some stacks on my tube. I can't get this minion aggro. <laughs> We're at the point yeah. where we're far ahead enough where it doesn't really even matter if we hold the wave or whatever. We just need to keep taking their buffs off cooldown. And then we'll just be way too far ahead for them to deal with even if we're under their... I side. need the jungle buff. Oh, here's thank you for the subscription. The Merc passive sub badge. <laughs> Give me the swift wing. <laughs> <laughs> so this Oni Hunters... In addition to the tankiness I was just talking about, it also gives me 30 MP5, which is a stat that I uh, really want to have as a very hungry mana starved Kabrakan player. So this will help. And then we can leave the waves fighting themselves now while we take all these buffs. But they are too scared to push up, and we are just taking all our buffs in the meantime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ground pound, baby. I hit it all the times. I did a thousand eight damage with that. Pretty good. Over the course of how many seconds? Ten seconds, I said. Yeah, that's how many seconds. No worries. Completed. <laughs> so we just sweep all their buffs while watching the letting the waves push itself over here. If they came over and tried to push down, we could have interrupted, and killed them maybe. Oh, what's going on here? On my way. Have fun. No, my three got interrupted. What a scam game. And you'll notice I've taken a grand total of negative two damage thus far. Hey, ground pound, baby. Yeah, that Kraken hit me for uh, 176 and I mitigated 264 of that. So that's what, maybe 60-70% of that Kraken that I mitigated? I'd say that's pretty good. That was so hot! <laughs> I don't know why that Kraken okay, is. Thanks. Weird. Hi, Kraken. Or Poseidon, I just called him Kraken. I'll, I'll be taking that! I think I'm gonna buy a Purification Beads so that I can chase people down even harder. It'll be pretty nasty. It'll be right nasty. And I'm gonna grab a Sov here. Cause I like my teammates be tanky, I like me be tanky, I have lot HP5, MP5, a decent amount of power, lots of tankiness, damage mitigation, like all the boxes are checked except for one, and that is the Pridwin box. <laughs> the cooldown box. So this sovereignty is going to allow me to tank up this Phoenix very easily now. The Emperor's armor will slow him down, or the Phoenix down that is. We're holding the wave right now because Nat's not here. Might as well wait. There's nothing else to do, so rather than uh, pushing the wave straight to their Phoenix line and allowing them to get farmed for free, might as well wait for Nat to get here so we can push with it and this wave. And I'm stacking my passive off this wave, so I have my two ready to go. Can just walk in here with the Emperor's armor. Level my old. Hit him with the trap and scrap. Where you going, buddy? Where you going, buddy? Alright, I'm gonna need the beads soon. Beads there! Oof, I thought he was gonna jump on me. And the game is over, just like that. A clean sweep from the fellas. Okay. 
I was sitting that Titan for 51 a hit with my three. Meaning, if I hit that Titan for all of my hits for 51, that's about 100 damage a second. I could have done 1,000 damage as a Guardian with my, uh, with an ability. It's a long ability, 100 damage a second, which is more than my basic attacks would have done. No, that's about two times a normal Guardian's DPS is just basic attacks. A little bit of damage, I guess. That's pretty good. Kabrakin, my favorite balance. Uh, the winner by knockout is Kabrakin! <laughs> Sheesh! So that build would have finished with probably Pridwin, maybe a Thebes, or a, a Spirit Robe. And then I would have changed this mask into. Honestly, probably Bumba's Hammer. Bumba's Hammer is kind of nice with it. It would have been Bumba's Hammer, or it would have been Sundering Axe, probably. And then the boots probably would have turned into a situational item. Winged Blade, Mantle, something like that. I do have slow immunity on my one, but my one's not always active, you know? Like, they're going to be trying to kill me after my one's down, more likely than not. And they have a lot of slows to make that happen. So, Winged Blade could have been huge. I could have gotten Winged Blade a little bit earlier. Maybe after the Pridwin or something. It's all up in the air. There are tons of different items to consider at this point of the game. The way we were snowballing, I could have gone maybe um, a Void Stone after Pridwin, but I definitely wanted Pridwin next, regardless. I just wanted the cooldown. And that shield is nice, too. But the rest of the build was still up in the air. Could have gone uh, Spear of the Magus or something. Spear of Deso, even. Well, there are a lot of different options. And it's all up to how you're feeling during the game. Here are the end game stats. Almost out damaged this noob soul, but unfortunately she is, she's is, she got too many fireballs. It's not even fair. I was taking all this damage and she's just sitting pretty in the back line just going. <laughs> <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed that video. Saw enjoyed the Kabrakin POV. Learned some things, saw some things, learned some things not to do. Learned some things to do. Maybe learn some things not to do if you're um, the Poseidon player into the Kabrakin. That blink covers a lot of distance, man. Blink old Kabrakin. I can uh, basically phase into existence on this poor guy and trap him in a cage if he's not careful. Same goes for the Scotty, but the Scotty was playing slightly more carefully, so ended up being the Kabrakin, or the not the Kabrakin, the Poseidon, who was uh, the victim of my wrath most of those times. But thank you for watching again. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content. And I'll see you next time. Later.